WOWT NBC Omaha presents Omaha Performing Arts 10th Anniversary Special. This performance has been 10 years in the making. It's showtime. of the Omaha Performing Arts. For the next 30 minutes, we will feature the past, the present, and the future of Omaha Performing Arts and all the spectacular experiences they have provided to our community. Obvious landmarks are the stately Orpheum Theater and the exquisite Holland Performing Arts Center. Both are staples of our arts scene, but Omaha Performing Arts has provided so much more. Let's take a tour, go down memory lane, and talk with some of the influential benefactors and important leaders that have made this organization a vibrant destination for more than 3 million people over the past 10 years. I am sitting at the redesigned and expanded Ovations Lounge, which is inside the fabulous Holland Performing Arts Center. And I'm joined by the president of Omaha Performing Arts, Joan Squires. Congratulations on 10 years of success. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to have you with us tonight. I remember this all started with an idea and has vastly grown. You know, we started, we didn't exist as an organization, let alone this beautiful Holland Center. And today we're the largest arts institution in the state of Nebraska. We've come a long way in 10 years. How does that make you feel to see the success? Well, I'm, I'm so happy and proud for the community in the city. All the people that came together to make this possible, all of the hundreds and thousands and actually millions of patrons that have been through these buildings, and all the great artists who have graced our stages. It's just a success story for everybody. I know in doing some of the behind the scenes show with you guys, the actors rave about Omaha and the crowd and the feel of this community. I think it truly makes our city shine to be able to bring such great performers to our city. It does, you know, they come to our stages here at the Holland or the Orpheum and I, they don't know what to expect before they come to Omaha. And without exception, they say, wow. They walk out on that stage, they, they hear the acoustics, they look at the audience, and they want to return. They love coming to our community. Well, Joan, we've been talking about the new here at the Holland Performing Arts Center, so we're going to take you inside Zinc coming up next. Hi, Omaha. It's Chris Mann from the spectacular new production of The Phantom of the Opera coming in April. Happy 10th anniversary, Omaha Performing Arts. Welcome back to the Holland Performing Arts Center. We're here in the brand new edition, Zinc. Cheers and congratulations. Thank you, Mallory. Nice to have you with us. I'm joined once again with President Joan Squires. And this has been such a success story. And Joan, I know earlier we talked about all the new additions right here at the Holland, but there's also so many at the Orpheum as well. There are. We've done so much at the Orpheum since 2002. And at that time, we did lots of improvements. But after that, we put a new Skylink into the parking garage. We have a new electronic digital signage. We have uh, Anthorn Weaver Lounge and lots of new amenities for our patrons and our artists. So it's just continuing to make improvements at the Orpheum Theater as well. The growth has been remarkable, and it really has a huge impact economically on our city as well. It does. We uh, reach um, many, many thousands of people with an economic impact of 40 million, um, and we have lots of jobs that, that these, both these buildings produce for the city. We are here in a brand new restaurant with fantastic food and an atmosphere where people can actually sit outside. For those who haven't actually checked out the Holland Performing Arts Center, what can they expect? What's a night like out on the town? Well, you know, when you can come to the Holland, we have valet parking, you come into our Ovations Lounge, and then you can come have a pre-performance dinner here in our beautiful new Zinc restaurant. And you have several
several different halls here, so it's not just the great hall here. It isn't. It's not always about the Kiwa Concert Hall, but we also have the Scott Recital Hall, and one of our favorite series is the 1200 Club. You can come in jeans or khakis, have a beverage and some food, and listen to some great jazz or blues in a very casual setting. What are you most <laughs> proud of as you celebrate 10 years? You know, I think the uh, I'm most proud of the impact we've had on the community and the thousands of lives we've touched. And to watch the young people now come through both of these facilities and just be moved by the arts and just have that experience. I think it's, it's just a wonderful thing and it's an important part of the community and the fabric. Well, I think you have certainly inspired us all. Shall we eat? Thank you. We're going to go ahead and eat. <laughs> Mallory, as you go into the hall, I'd like to introduce you to one of our ambassadors, Dave. Hi, Dave. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mallory. Good. You're in good hands. Enjoy the performance tonight. Thank you so much, Joan. Dave, more than 400 ambassadors have saved the city more than $4.4 million with your volunteer hours. Why do you do it? I just really enjoy helping the patrons when they come to see a show. Uh, it's so, so nice to be able to interact with them and you know make sure that they have a, a good uh, show while they're here. Well, shall we enjoy a show, speaking Absolutely. of? Absolutely. All right, I'll let you lead the way. Thank you. Mallory, I saved you a seat. Thank you, John. Yeah, where have you been? I was actually interviewing Joan Squires at Ovations and Zinc. Did you bring me anything? I forgot about that, but what no one will forget are all the engaging performances from top tier national touring musicians, choral groups, comedians, speakers, and just about anything else that has taken the stage in this acoustic oasis that is the Kiewit Concert Hall. Well, let's take a look back at some of the eclectic and inspiring performances that have graced the stage here at the Holland and the Orpheum over the past 10 years. <laughs> Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Pastor and advisor, there's nobody wiser now when it comes to popular. I know about popular. You're from my neighborhood, you got three ways out. You could join the army, you could get mobbed up, or you could become a star. Walk like a man, fast as I can. Omaha Performing Arts not only presents award-winning productions, but they also provide educational programs and community engagement efforts. It encourages young people and adults to fully appreciate and participate in the performing arts. And I'm here with Kendra Ingram, who is a Vice President of Programming and Education at Omaha Performing Arts. So describe a little bit about your uh, program. Sure, so Omaha Performing Arts has several education programs that we've been running since uh, Omaha Performing Arts uh, existed 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So student matinees that we perform both here in the Holland and at the Orpheum provide students with an opportunity to see shows during the school day. They bus them in um, with their schools and get to see the programs. And then we also do a lot of master classes. Our most popular program and probably our fastest growing is Nebraska High School Theater Awards, which is like our version of the Tony Awards for high schools. So we send adjudicators to the high schools to evaluate their productions and give feedback. And while they're doing that process, they're also looking for some of the top uh, students performing uh, who have uh, true artistic excellence in their areas. And then we have a big show at the end of the school year where the students can perform works from their school shows and we give awards and recognize uh, the top schools and students. It's been a great program that we're now planning to expand over the next few years throughout the state of Nebraska. You can take the journey through this country's flesh and blood On the right past countryside and Mississippi mud You've just been watching Marcel Daly, who is a graduate of Bellevue West and currently a freshman at UNO, but he actually was in the Theater Award program. That was his audition to be able to go to New York with the hopes of going to New York. And uh, 
Marcel, first of all, congratulations because you were selected to go. Yes, thank you. That's quite an honor. Uh, in the addition, since we just watched that, were, were you nervous? How did that go for you? At first, when I was going to audition, I was just going, th I was just, it was my senior year, I might as well try out something before I go into college and start getting busy. And then when the time was rolling, counting down till before my audition, I saw so many people, so many other guys and girls auditioning with me. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of, I was getting a little nervous. I was like, oh, <laughs> maybe I might not make this or mm -hmm. uh, didn't have the chance to get to New York. And so I kind of took a few minutes, went in the corner, I kind of breathed a little bit. And then right before my audition, and then I went in and I just, I was just focused, and it was a really good audition for me. You nailed it. I nailed it. I mean, I went to New York, so <laughs> it did pay off. These are amazing buildings. Without them, none of this would be possible. The outside of both the Orpheum Theater and the Holland Performing Arts Center are magnificent. They speak for themselves, but on the inside, it's a different story and uh, many interesting and intricate moving parts. So this is Jeff Brown, uh, Assistant Production Manager, and he's going to tell us what happens behind the scenes. So, this, uh, there's a lot to talk about here, Jeff, so it's just an uh, amazing couple of buildings. It is. It's quite extraordinary. And you've been with this since 1981. Yes. And before that, your father? Mm -hmm. He started in 1973 with the first renovation. Well, we're sitting on the stage right now, the Orpheum, mm -hmm. and you can transform this just about any way you want. Are there any limitations what you can do on this stage? Not really. Uh, with, we replaced all the rigging in the summer of 2012, so with all new rigging here and over the seated area, you can do just about anything you want. Over the seated area? That sounds mm -hmm. dangerous. Well, actually, what we did was we replaced the, the winches on all the chandeliers out here. So uh, the original winches dated back to 1927. So we wanted to put in a more modern one that you could lock and, and control with a drill. So it's made quite a difference. You mentioned the chandeliers. Mm -hmm. and. The age on those, any idea? They all date back to 1927. Can you think of uh, any of the productions that have come in that have been the biggest challenge for you and the crews? Or? The first time Phantom of the Opera was here in 2000 was quite a challenge to fit it all in because they came in and they used every square inch of the building. We have old hallways on the north side of the building that are abandoned that we don't use and they used up every square inch of the building. When you think about Omaha itself, to being able to bring in Phantom of the Opera and these type of shows, uh, what does it say about Omaha, do you think? That that's what Omaha wants to see, so. And you can make it happen. Yep. So we come now from the Orpheum Theater to here to the Holland Performing Arts Center, and Kate Williams is the production manager. She actually manages both buildings, but uh, we're here in this magnificent building, and when it was built 10 years ago, it had such a great buildup as to what this building offers, and it's, it's tremendous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's the first time Omaha has had a concert hall, a hall that's dedicated to um, symphonic music, jazz, blues. Seats 2,000 people. It does. Which is very comfortable. And the acoustic is what you always hear about. The hall was very specifically designed to meet the acoustics of an unamplified performance. So that would be um, a cello recital or a symphony. Um, the room is designed with the ceiling that will actually raise the ceiling right above us can raise and lower in order to make the sound more live, or it can make it deadened if you have a rock band or an amplified concert. And then the rest of the hall, we can actually change the, the felt banners that will deaden the hall or make it more live. So the panels on the wall, is that the felt uh, that you talked about or is that different? There's two kinds of panels. There's two inch acoustic felt that we can retract into the ceiling if we don't need it. Mm -hmm. And then there's also tiles on the wall and the individual tiles are asymmetrical, and they're designed to diffuse sound to take the sharp angles away from the sound wave, and they just make it a really nice, warm, open sound for the audience. Uh, as we move forward from here, with this the 10th anniversary, uh, is there anything that would change about the Holland Performing Arts Center, or needs to, or in addition to? I don't think anything needs to change at this point. I think that we have really found our stride with this hall. I think we've found a way to, to market it to the community and to get the best performers here that will, will buy tickets or sell tickets. Mm -hmm. It's great for Omaha, isn't it? It's very good for Omaha. Hey, we're Disney's cast of Newsies and we're coming to Omaha in February and we just wanted to wish the Omaha Performing Arts Center Happy 10th Anniversary! See you soon! 
Welcome back to Omaha Performing Arts 10th anniversary special. I'm back in the lobby of the beautiful Holland Performing Arts Center. And one of the main benefactors and the reasons why we are all here today is joining me, Mr. Dick Holland. It is very nice to meet you. It's wonderful to be here. Congratulations on 10 years of success. And Mr. Holland, behind you is a quote that I understand was very special to you and your wife. It, we don't want to build a hall like this for, for just myself and my wife. It, it makes sense that it's for all of Omaha. And I've always felt like that. Uh, and it's worked out. It's worked out very well. More than three million people have come through the Holland Performing Arts Center and the Orpheum Theater in the last 10 years. How does it feel to hear the number of lives that you've affected, including more than 200,000 children? Well, it's hard to believe. Clearly, this was a passion of you and your wife's. Do you have a favorite production or a favorite moment in the arts here? Opening night. We were attempting to show different ways that the sound uh, would be, be uh, very good. I've had other moments, too, when you're just thrilled by what's happening or what, how good somebody is. Uh, it, it, it's top flight entertainment. Do you still get excited when you step inside this building? Oh yeah, uh, I get a you know I get a thrill out of it. Uh, you know I'm only 94, and uh, I'm looking forward to many more years of this. Well, thank you, Mr. Holland, for joining us. And now that we have a better understanding of how we got to this point, let's check in with John to see what the future holds for Omaha Performing Arts. Thanks, Mallory. I'm in Scott Recital Hall, and this is John Gottschalk, who is the chairman of the Omaha Performing Arts. And John, uh, your history with us goes very back in the beginning. I mean, uh, this is the 10 year anniversary, but you can remember what it was like 10 years ago with the vision at that time. Yes, I can. Uh, in fact, it, that visioning really started 15 years ago. And um, it was a long, long journey. One of the great things that I think will be with us for a long time is part of the prin principles of building, particularly the Holland Center, because it obviously was the most expensive. Uh, but one of the principles was that by having the support of this community and contributions, we didn't have a cost to build, so to speak, because it was taken care of by donors. And one of the things that that enabled was to have ticket prices that were fairly reasonable for some of the things that we bring here. Uh, so, you know, I do not know what the future will bring, but I think the principles upon which this facility was established as well as the rehabbing of the Orpheum, the whole Omaha Performing Arts concept, um, I don't see that concept changing much. So what will it bring? I'm sure it will bring significantly greater educational things. I'm sure it will continue to bring extraordinary uh, uh, Broadway. It will continue to bring artists of all kinds of genres. This is basically a house. It's a wonderful house. But what goes on inside of it will have to be sustained by each generation. Well, John, it's, uh, it's wonderful, and congratulations to you and everybody involved with the original vision 15 years ago, but to here it is now, the 10-year anniversary, and uh, clearly you are looking to the future, too. So, And if you'd like to get a better illustration of what this is all about this weekend, it's the Holland Stages. Come down and actually see things in progress, and uh, it's a great thing for our community. So. Uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, remember the Omaha Performing Arts.